Hello and welcome. It is 8 o'clock. It's the 28th day of 2021. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming and oh boy content warning because I am going to be talking about the TSR thing and the Wizards of the Coast thing. And I'm also going to be talking about pro wrestling and specifically about pro wrestling heels and generating heat and how this sort of ref reflects on what's going on with the TSR stuff and the Wizards of the Coast stuff, which means I'm probably going to inevitably say something that pisses you off, which sort of goes without saying, because no matter what I say, I piss someone off. So content warning. All right. There is a lot of argument as to who the greatest heel bad guy in the history of pro wrestling is. Some say it's Adrian Adonis because he was the first real heel. Uh, some say it's Flair because he's the greatest ever. Uh, some say it's Shawn Michaels because he's the greatest ever. Uh, some say it's Roddy Piper. And some even say the greatest pro wrestling heel is Andy Kaufman. Some say MJF, who is a current pro wrestling heel, could someday be the greatest ever if he continues the way he's going. Um, I will say, uh, having been around when the Andy Kaufman stuff happened, and having been around and watched a lot of the things that Roddy Piper was able to do with an audience, there's some argument Kaufman could have been the greatest heel of all time, or there could some argument that Piper could have been the greatest heel of all time. Very few people who were professionally wrestling bad guys could get an audience as invested in being angry as Roddy Piper could, with maybe the exception of Andy Kaufman. Um... Roddy Piper was so good at his job that he caused an entire country to once riot. Now, history will say, well, that country was a powder keg anyways and really would have taken anything to set them off. But the thing that set them off was what Roddy Piper said and did to the point where the entire small country, well, I mean, you know, we're talking about a small country in Africa or wherever, but still, an entire country rioted. And it was so to the point that the Marines had to come in and helicopter out Piper and the rest of the wrestlers. Did Piper come on the next day and apologize? No, he milked it. He got so many people angry and he rode that. Of course, there's also some argument that the greatest heat getter, the greatest pro wrestling villain of all time is Vince McMahon because nobody pisses people off the way Vince McMahon pisses off. I mean, Piper wouldn't have happened if not for McMahon. Kaufman wouldn't have happened if not for McMahon. McMahon is such a brilliant generator of heat that right after 9-11 happened, he introduced characters that were anti-American, pro-Afghan, Afghanistan, pro, you know, 9-11. And he knew the amount of hate he was going to get. He knew the amount of hate those wrestlers were going to get. People were disgusted that McMahon would introduce these characters so soon after 9-11. But McMahon understood that it would get people talking about the WWF, WWE, and get people in the seats and get money in his pockets. And that, at the end of the day, was McMahon's job. At the end of the day, Roddy Piper's job was to piss you off because if he was pissing you off, you were talking about him, you were talking about the product, and you were talking about, you know, pro wrestling, and you were getting money, people in the seat, and money in his pockets. You know, and some say Coffin was the greatest ever because you never knew. Even uh, Jerry Lawler said after Andy died, during their whole thing that they did together with the, you know, Jerry Lawler versus Andy Kaufman wrestling thing, you know, that Andy pissed him off so much. He really was, at more than one time, wanted to seriously hurt Andy. And he never knew, Jerry Lawler said that he never knew when he was dealing with Andy, if Andy was playing a character or if this really was Andy, um, you know, and I lived in L.A. and I remember going to Jerry's and I remember Andy bussing tables and people are like, is that Andy Kaufman? And it's like, uh, yeah. And he's like, wait, is he playing a character or is he really that hard up that he needs to still bust tables at Jerry's Deli in Studio City? And Andy's like, no, I just never want to forget who I am. And it's like, wait, is this real or is this kayfabe? What the fuck does this are you talking about have to do with what's going on in our hobby right now, Mike? OGGM, you're obviously still stoned in your painkillers because this has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on in our hobby. 
It's not like there's an organization out there right now who is attracting attention to himself simply by attracting attention to themselves. Is there? Except, of course, there is. And the reason why I'm bringing up Andy and Roddy and all these other great heels, these individuals who made generating heat an art form, is doesn't matter what I say about TSR, Wizards of the Coast, right now. Doesn't matter if you're pro TSR or anti TSR. It doesn't matter if you support the people who are supporting TSR or if you support the people who aren't supporting TSR. It doesn't matter whether TSR actually does anything or not. All that matters is TSR is generating heat. TSR is getting people to talk about it. And the whole point to generate heat, the whole point of being Rowdy Roddy Piper, the whole point of being Andy Coffin, the whole point of being MJF, the whole point of being a good heel is to generate heat, to get people so incensed and so uptight and so wrapped up in their own personal stuff and how what this person, this individual, this company is doing affects their own personal stuff that they just explode. And a lot of people are saying, oh, they're blah, 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 TSR, stupid, idiots, they don't know what they're talking about. And, you know, maybe maybe it's true. And maybe Wizards of the Coast has no idea what they're seeing and doing actually has effect on the industry and, and how people are reacting. And maybe TSR and Ernest Gary Gygax and all the other people have no clue as to how the words that are coming out of their mouth and the actions they're taking are affecting people right now across the gaming world except of course it's the number one story every day the past week is people upset about what tsr said or did or people supporting what said or said did so for them to have absolutely no idea it's a possibility but it's a very slim one for wizards of the coast and critical role to have absolutely no idea what they do how they do and what people do and what people react to what they're saying and doing it's possible it's possible I'm sure somebody will argue with me that, you know, but I don't think so. Because I've seen this before. Because we have seen this before. Because throughout history, this has happened. Individuals and organizations who have existed solely for the purpose of drawing attention to themselves. And no matter what they do, no matter how foolish how vile, how whatever they do, as long as they're attracting attention to themselves and getting people to talk about them and getting people to react, they're doing their job. I mean, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Zaphod Beeblebrox, what is the role of the president? The president's is, job is to attract attention to himself so other p people don't notice what's actually going on. And that way, Zaphod Beeblebrox was the single greatest president of all time. Because he attracted so much attention to himself that nobody actually paid attention to what was going on. Throughout history, individuals and organizations like this have existed to attract people's attention. Rodeo clowns. Rodeo clowns exist not to be anything other than attract attention to themselves. Get the bull's attention away from from the cowboy get the bull's attention away from the crowd clowns only job is to attract attention to themselves jesters only job attract attention to themselves throughout history we have seen individuals and organizations whose existence simply was to attract attention to themselves to generate heat now it doesn't matter what TSR does. And frankly, I don't fucking care. Just like I don't care about Critical Role or Wizards of the Coast. Oh, how dare he says that. I know I'm going to get shit on for posting this, so I don't really care because I'm attracting attention to myself. And really, that's all that matters. I'm attracting attention to myself. I'm putting butts in seats and I'm getting money for concessions. And that's what matters. What TSR does doesn't matter. What Ernie Gygax says 
doesn't matter. What matters is it's attracting attention. It's attracting a lot of attention. People are incensed. People are rioting. And I gotta think, somewhere Roddy Piper's gone. Thumbs up. Because you're doing your job. You're getting the marks to respond to your shoot. Doesn't matter what you're saying if you're saying is true or not. Doesn't matter if what you're saying if you believe it or not. If you can convince your audience to pay attention to what you're doing, you're putting butts in seats and you're getting money for concessions and you're doing your job. Roddy Piper got an entire country to riot once because he did his job. Andy Kaufman went to his grave with nobody ever knowing if Andy Kaufman was playing a character or if that really was Andy Kaufman. Is the Andy Kaufman I saw slinging hash at Jerry's Deli in Studio City a character that he was playing? Or did he really believe that? And does it matter because he got his attention? Andy Kaufman, through the whole pro wrestling Jerry Lawler thing, never broke kayfabe, never, sh never broke the shoot. Always took advantage of the fact that he knew we were marks. We paid attention. So really, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't matter what TSR says or does. What matters is whether we pay attention to what TSR says and does. Doesn't matter if you're pro TSR or against TSR. Doesn't matter if you're pro Supporting the people who are supporting TSR or you're against the people who are supporting the people at TSR. Or if you're against the people or support the people, the four people, that's that it doesn't matter. If you're talking about TSR, if you if they're getting your money, if you if you're getting if they're getting your seats in the chairs, if they're getting the money at the concessions, if they're getting your monies at the tickets, if you're getting the money for the shirt, if you're cheering them. If you're booing them, if they're attracting heat to themselves, even if they close tomorrow without making a single dime off any of their product, they have generated heat. And really, in this meteor-rich environment that is the current status of the interweb, all that matters is if you generate heat. I mean, look at me. All I got to do is say certain things and I generate heat. I get hundreds and hundreds of views and hundreds and hundreds of thumbs down, but it doesn't matter because I'm generating heat. People are talking about me. People are talking about TSR. You're talking about TSR. I'm talking about TSR. The millions and millions of pro wrestling fans are talking about TSR. Somewhere, Andy is shooting on Elvis and you got to wonder, is there a man in the moon? Hopefully, this is the last I ever have to say about this. Thank you. If you appreciate this content, comment down below. If you think I should shut the fuck up, comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe, or please don't like your marks. Either way, it's generating heat. Talk to you soon, Steve.